can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. Sure, hey, y'all. Um, I'm Destiny. Um, and so I'm looking at your credits right now, Derek. Um, and yeah, Hot Girl Summer is there. Um, also, yikes, um, with Nikki Fractions as well as Not Sorry with Rich the Kid. So I'm wondering, um, y'all know how Nikki is, you know, about her writing and you know wanting to know that she, you know, writes her stuff. So I, I'm wondering, like, what um, specifically do you help with when you um, are working with her or on those songs? It could be different things. It could be flows, like laying down melodies, um, and then the artist going back listening to it. It could also be on the production, like restructuring the beats or saying, yo, I ain't going to lie. I feel like this verse should go first, and maybe this verse should go second. Um, the thing that I respect about Nikki the most and the reason why I enjoy working with her is because she's one of those artists who can do everything. Like she engineers herself, even though she got juice, she can sit in front of the, in the front of the computer and engineer herself, record herself. Um, but she also understands collaboratives. You know what I'm saying? Like before I even came in the picture, she was already working with greats like Esther Dean, um, Stara, and certain people who kind of just did similar things. Like they'll bring her certain artists that she might not, you know, be familiar with or certain producers who she might not be familiar with because she's working on something completely different. And when you come in from an underground perspective and you're like, yo, this sound is hot right now or this shit is hot right now, I feel like it would make sense if you jump in on it. She's one of those people who's going to, you know, sit down with it, think about it, make a decision. She's either going to say yes or no, but I think that's what makes her um a goat and one thing that i always told her um working with her is like yo you you kind of have a drake effect like you you're one of those artists who if you put your voice on anything it could blow up anybody if it's a producer if it's an artist like if it's a feature whatever the situation is um you have that touch and you know that like with me and her that kind of helped because i was bringing her in a lot of you know, different producers like um, Pooh Beats and Jetson. Well, it was Pooh Beats, but him and Jetson worked together a lot on um, the Babies records and stuff like that. It was popping. So when we did Yikes, you know, I kind of pulled up on her and said, yo, these are the hottest producers right now. Like, they just did this, that, and the third. I feel like this would be dope for your sound. I feel like it kind of gives your fans the old Nicki, but it still gives them the new Nicki. And, you know, she sat down with it, listened to it a few times. We both laid down melodies, and then, shit, I came to the studio the next day, and she had the song done. And That's I was like, crazy. damn, you fire. I'm like, how the hell did you, like, and she was like, nah, this, you know, this is what I do. She's been doing it for years, and she, you know, she's really a, a student of Wayne. Um, so, like, when I watch Wayne work and see how Wayne worked and see how consistent he is, um, you know, I see it in her a lot, which is amazing to see from, you know, a, a female rapper at the level that she's at. Um, I think that's the reason why a lot of artists kind of feel intimidated when it comes to her because she can literally do everything. Like she could sing, she could do reggae, she could do Spanish music, she could rap, she could do boom bap, she can get on a song with Eminem, she can get on a song with the baby, she can get on a song with Kodak, she can get on a song. It doesn't matter who it is, and she's always gonna shine. And I think that's what makes her a star. That's why I really enjoy working with her because it was literally like working with a superstar, like in real time. A lot of people can't do that. So 